I had just left No Limit Records, and I had a great time on No Limit Records. Um, just got back with Dr. Dre. We did The Chronic 2001. And um, I was sort of kind of in a space where I wanted to, I wanted to work with somebody that was different, that was, that was dynamic, and that could handle me. And uh, Pharrell was, was popping. And when me and him hooked up, it's like it was a brotherhood. We was, you know, I was a fan of his work. Everything that he had done from the work with Buster, Jay-Z, everybody he had worked with, Nori, I was like, man, I love your music. And he was like, I love your music. So we connected. And once we connected, we built a brotherhood and we started working at Record Plant. And one day I came in the studio and he was just like, doing like shit with his tongue. And I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? <laughs> so, so for real, when for real go, for real though, when for real go in the booth though, he liked to lay down references of what, of what he wants you to sound like. So he went and was like, this, 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 doing all of this, but with no words, but it had the melody. So once I heard it, I took it, flipped it, dipped it, wrote my shit. <laughs> And then he was like, he was like, let me let me get the first verse. I'm like, all right, let me hear what you got. And his verse was so hard, I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I normally, I normally don't let niggas get the first verse. <laughs> but his shit was so hard, I was like, you know what? Go ahead, skateboard P, do your thing. 